Hello, and welcome to the creation of Word Balloons using Adobe Photoshop. My name is Barry Smith. I'm the cartoonist behind Ink Tank at inktank.com, I-N-K-T-A-N-K. And I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to create word balloons using Adobe Photoshop. Uh, personally, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS, but this technique should work with any version of Photoshop because we're going to just use the basic tools of the toolbar here on the left and the layer palette here on the right. Uh, and most versions have that. So, let's go. Okay, you see here we have the art layer, a uh, character talking. We've got a door. Somebody will be speaking who's outside of the room. They're talking through the door, and we'll have this character replying. Now, typically you do this on top of the artwork layer or the photograph or whatever you're adding word balloons to. But for the sake of clarity, uh, just to keep the background clean and keep us focused on our word balloons, I'm going to hide that artwork layer using the little hide icon there and to create some word balloons we're gonna need two things we're gonna need words and we're gonna need very small dogs no uh, balloons very small balloons uh, and I will create a layer on top of my artwork layer I'm gonna call this one balloons and above that layer I'll create a new layer and I will call that words for word balloons and I'm gonna go back and hide that artwork layer so we've got two layers words and balloons uh, I've left these two layers on top of the artwork layer and I've also put the words on top of the balloon layer because the balloons will be opaque and you will not be able to see through them so the words must be on top of the balloons putting them at the top of the layer list so let's start off with some words uh, I'm gonna choose my font tool here uh, black is the color of the font I'll use, and it's a comic book font. I use a size 10 for my comic strip, and the font is also centered uh, paragraph alignment. So I'm going to start off and type some words. Here we go. So, how is your little... No, that's not right. Little. So how is your little event... Uh, we've got some text there, and let me just zoom in on this a bit so we can see what we're looking at a little better. So how is your little event? And the words you'll notice are kind of narrow at the top, kind of a wider in the middle, and narrow at the bottom again, making a <gasps> balloon shape. Hmm. Uh, you'll notice they're not boxed out or one big long line. I like to keep the word balloons in the moderate shape of a balloon um, to the best of my ability, just for neatness sake so I've got words and now I'm gonna make a balloon so I'm gonna choose my balloon layer I'm gonna go up to the uh, elliptical marquee tool and this is in the same um, menu as the rectangular marquee tool but we're gonna use the circle one because we want circular balloons and I put down a circle I choose my fill color for white and I fill it with the paint bucket and I have a word balloon and this layer will move by itself and the words can also move by itself so they can be adjusted uh, to fit over top of the art layer now uh, I need a reply from the other fellow so I'm just gonna go back to what I did before and create some text now when creating text uh, if you click it'll automatically make a new layer I know I made a layer before uh, called words um, I do that just so I know where things are at in my layers there. Uh, I don't want to have things underneath or above, so at least I give myself a baseline of creating an initial word layer. But every time you start typing a new line, it'll create a new layer. So this layer will say, it was totally rad. Two exclamation points. That's how rad the little event was. So again, this is another layer that can move around independently, and it needs a balloon. So I'll go back to the balloon layer choose my elliptical marquee tool put a circle behind it and I'm gonna fill it with oh, white color there we go alright and it doesn't seem to be quite centered on totally rad so I'm gonna move that balloon up a little bit and fix it Whoa, hey uh, both of them are moving hmm that could be a problem if I want to move one thing at a time so I'm going to again choose my elliptical marquee tool make a circle a little bit bigger than the circle I want to move and that way it selects it so when I do use the movement uh, tool, the selection tool, I can move it independently, even though it's on the same layer. I will get that centered where I want it. I like that. 
So now we've got words and balloons all done. Well, wait, wait, wait. We want to know who's talking. So we're going to throw in some arrow pointers uh, indicating who is speaking these words. So when I have the balloon layer selected, I'll choose a new layer and I'll call this one arrows. So from there, I'm going to choose the lasso tool, but instead of the regular lasso tool, I'm going to choose the polygonal lasso tool, which is the sort of angular looking one. And that way it gives me straight lines and kind of rubber bands them around. I can adjust them the way I want them. So if I choose the bottom of this word balloon and somewhere inside at the lower end, click, and then it kind of gives me a little rubber banded line to, to move around. I will choose where I want it to go to, click to anchor that point, and then go back up and just close that off. I've got my little dancing ants as it were and I'm going to fill this with white. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing for this balloon over here. There's a guy on this side who's talking and I'm going to fill that with white as well. Now this technique can be done on the same layer as the balloons but the problem is you've got this kind of anti-aliased edge already around the balloons from when you did the initial fill and if you try to do a fill on the same layer, it's going to bump into that anti-aliased mark, and you're going to have some little greeblies in there you're going to have to clean up. Uh, so I just leave it on the new layer, nice and clean. Now we've got words, balloons, and arrows, indicating where, who, who, who all is talking. So from there, most people, you can leave it at that. But for me, I like to have a black outline around it as well. So we will use fill and stroke. So now we're going to use the stroke tool. And for that, we'll choose black to make a stroked outline of the arrows and the balloons. So we'll go to Edit, Stroke. We'll do two-point black stroke on the inside uh, for the location. I prefer inside because it gives us a very finely pointed word balloon. And there we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Seems we've only gotten the arrows on that layer. And they've got their little end caps on them. Uh, that's not good. We actually want to have this go all the way around the balloons and the arrows. If we did the same thing, edit stroke to the balloons, nah, it doesn't look quite right. So what we're going to do is I will control alt Z to step back two steps. And I want to combine the word balloons and the arrows into one layer. So I will simply remove everything. I do not want to merge. And that includes the background. So I've just got the word balloons, these two layers visible and I'm going to shift the layer palette over here and there's an arrow here that pulls it out and I'm going to use that drop down menu to get down to the selection for merge visible and it'll take anything that's visible and merge it into one layer. I'm going to shift this back over there and now I throw my background on there and I've got balloons that are on their own layer. So if I go in and I do that stroke function again, edit, stroke, two points and on the inside boom I've got black outlines around the word balloons and the pointers uh, you can also it depends upon the size of the font you use the size of balloons you know you might want to have a three-point stroke or four-point stroke or even a one-point stroke if you're doing something very small so to sum up you're gonna throw down on top of your artwork layer a balloon layer and a text layer type in some text you're gonna go back to the balloon layer fill in a circle on the balloon you're going to create an arrows layer. You're going to make some arrows using the uh, polygonal lasso tool. You're going to fill that with white, merge the two layers together, and give it a black stroked outline. Hope that helps. Uh, feel free to stop by inktank.com for more tutorials on balloons and web cartooning and all manner of good stuff. See you on the web. Thanks for watching.